I would like to uh, start with uh, saying that the inaugural rating of this freedom of uh, speech, freedom of press index was 80. It, it uh, dropped down to 120, 22 in 2012. And now it has dropped down to 150, which is, uh, I mean, which actually shows the extremely scary picture of what freedom of press actually exists uh, in India. And uh, I would like to start by saying that, of course, uh, something very unprecedented has happened during the last eight years, especially uh, BJP, the ruling power, ruling party uh, in India, has managed to uh, develop, create, nurture uh, very close ties and very close relations uh, with, uh, with media houses. And uh, as we all know, the majority of the media houses are controlled today by uh, the friends of BJP. Uh, for example, I mean, the Reliance Group owned by Ambani, it, it uh, runs almost 70 to 80 media uh, uh, organizations uh, under several names. Uh, then the, uh, the owner of the Republic TV is a BJP member of parliament in Rajya Sabha. The owner of the C Media Group is again a BJP member of parliament in Rajya Sabha. So uh, they have managed to uh, develop this kind of very close ties with, uh, uh, with the media houses. And uh, probably uh, the entire corporate structure that has evolved over the control of media has probably uh, become a reason, uh, one of the reasons for this uh, drop in the uh, freedom of uh, press. Uh, secondly, uh, a very peculiar uh, thing that we have observed in the last eight years is, uh, in fact, Narendra Modi started his tenure. Uh, in 2014 by attacking journalists. He started calling journalists as news traders. I mean, never in the history of India this has happened. Here, the Prime Minister of India had, was openly calling journalists as news traders. Then, his subordinate, another minister from his cabinet, V.K. Singh, who, was a, who is also a former uh, general of Indian Army, uh, he called uh, journalists as prostitutes comparing, rather equating them with prostitutes, uh, uh, calling them prostitutes. And uh, that's, that's, that's how the entire ruling dispensation and the party workers and everybody uh, who, who were attached with the ruling party started ridiculing, undermining uh, independent journalists and especially journalists uh, who were talking and writing against uh, several policy decisions or the decisions of the government. And uh, so, prostitute has become a, uh, I mean, a, a common phrase today to describe uh, journalists by the ruling uh, party. Second thing is that uh, whoever writes or talks against the government uh, have been labeled as anti-nationals. And again, this also has never happened in the, in the history as, as far as I know. Uh, I mean, talking, uh, rather criticizing policies of the government uh, has become a crime. I mean, journalists have been labeled as anti-nationals. Uh, then uh, there are methods of uh, cornering, torturing, harassing journalists. I myself have been facing a defamation case for writing an article, a very uh, long investigative article, against the political ideologues of this uh, ruling dispensation, Savarkar. And that uh, uh, article was titled, A Lamb Lioness. Now I am facing that defamation case for the last five years. Then uh, there are uh, incidences where journalists have been forced to lose their jobs. Again, I mean, uh, unfortunately, I have to repeat, but I have been uh, an example of that. I, I was a part of Malayana Madhurama group, which is again... Uh, a very important uh, group, uh, media group in India. And I was working with the Week magazine, uh, which belonged to Malayal Mundra group. And I was working on this particular story of uh, murder of Judge Loya. But uh, they refused to publish and they asked me to quit. So I had to quit that job. And since last four and a half years, I'm, I'm unemployed. So this is a, a manner in which uh, such journalists are 
financially eroded and the, the dispensation ensures that such journalists remain unemployed i i, I myself i have uh, experienced number of such things when i uh, in fact the penguin publisher had voluntarily offered me to write a book on the murder of judge lohan but uh, after uh, a few months uh, rather a month before uh, handing over the manuscript they wrote back to me that uh, they cannot publish the book and then i never got a publisher in last 3 3 and 1/2 years the isbn number which is required uh, for publishing the book the government of india denied to give me that isbn number for last 15 months i sent almost over 300 emails but they refused to respond to a single email then i had to apply through a very small minuscule uh, publisher in a very remote place uh, from a remote place in maharashtra and that's how uh, i managed to get the isbn number but uh, and now i have uh, released that book but uh, these these have been the methods of cornering journalists uh, then arrests i mean we have in india seen examples where journalists have been uh, arrested for reporting that children the school children were eating grass they they, they have been arrested for reporting that children have been forced to clean toilets in their schools and uh, i mean they have been charged under uh, under sedition uh, for being anti national doing anti national activities and uh, for writing against the chief minister or the prime minister and the, these have been the cases where journalists uh, today right now in fact there are 13 journalists who are in jail and every year i mean ever since the vapam scam uh, scam broke uh, the vapam scam done by the bjp government in madhya pradesh one of the popular states in Mara, uh, in india there have been i mean incidences of the murders i mean every year at least 3 to 4 journalists have been killed and somebody as renowned as gauri lankesh was also killed then physical attacks on the journalist physical attacks on the family members uh, attempts to humiliate them attempts to uh, uh, i mean abuse them uh, and troll them on social media i mean, are, I mean mm-hmm. we we know example of rana ayu i mean uh, she had faced the worst kind of uh, torture online torture and uh, harassment that any uh, women journalist can probably face i myself uh, have been attacked my family has been attacked my family has been trolled and this has been going on for the last 8 years unfortunately we have come to this this stage where uh, violence against journalists or uh, harassment mental torture uh, forcing them to be unemployed has become a norm today and uh, of course i i genuinely i i am uh, i graduated as an engineer an electronics engineer i was working uh, in engineering field but i joined journalism inspired by a sentence that i read in a book that it is the duty of a journalist to tell the truth and shame the devil and that that sentence actually inspired me to join journalism and that has that is something which i am trying to continue and i will i will keep on doing that but this is a very sorry state and i actually i mean this index figures this uh, drop in the uh, freedom of press index does not affect the ruling power in india at all they are not bothered about such uh, indexes or uh, such plummeting ratings of uh, freedom of press or any rating that defines the democracy in india today it is not only the press as as uh, bhasha also mentioned it is the democracy in india which is facing a severe and a, a, a very genuine risk and I, i i would like to conclude with that thank you